Thank you, Rebecca. Just two days after former D.C. Council member Michael Brown pleaded guilty to accepting a bribe, another council member's campaign is facing some scrutiny. This time, Vincent Orange meeting with investigators. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford's in Northeast Washington tonight with more. Sam. Gordon, we're outside Vincent Orange's old campaign headquarters, a campaign that Orange today acknowledged is being looked into by federal investigators. We were unable to get Orange on camera, but a few minutes ago he sent me a text message saying, I have met with the U.S. Attorney's Office. They have requested documents for my campaign, which I will provide. They have also requested that I not talk about the case because it may jeopardize their investigation. I have agreed to the U.S. Attorney's request as they can continue their due diligence. It's just two days after former council member Michael Brown pleaded guilty to taking bribes, becoming the third former council member to plead guilty to financial crimes along with Harry Thomas and Kwame Brown. Many residents don't like it. It's very sad because the people of D.C., there's a lot of people that are hurting and, and uh, need good people in office. And for some reason, it's, they're just not getting there or they don't want to serve. In the case of Orange, campaign finance records show he received more than $25,000 in money orders and cashier's checks from contributors linked to Jeffrey Thompson and Jean Clark Harris. Harris pleaded guilty to involvement in an illegal shadow campaign for Mayor Vincent Gray. Thompson has not pleaded to anything. Mayor Gray has not been charged with anything, nor has Councilmember Vincent Orange been charged. Orange told The Post the documents he submitted to the feds are similar to ones he submitted to D.C. campaign finance last year, which chose not to sanction him. This story was first reported today by the Washington Post. Orange was not the only member of the D.C. Council to receive contributions from Jeffrey Thompson. In fact, most of them did. But Orange received substantially more than most, and perhaps that is one of the reasons that the feds are looking into his campaign. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.